Hi everybody, welcome to Life After Mental Illness. I'm Bill McPhee, your recovery expert, and recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anyone else other than who you are today. In today's vlog, I talk about negative symptoms, uh, what they are, and uh, how to maybe deal with them. But anyways, I explain negative or what's also known as deficit symptoms. Tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be uh, shooting from um, a Rotary Club's meeting. I'm going to be speaking for 15 minutes at a Rotary Club, just kind of giving an overview of mental illness and maybe some of the stuff we're doing with the Ambassadors for Mental Wellness. So that will be uh, tomorrow's vlog. So I hope you enjoy this today. And remember, there is life after mental illness. And recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anybody else other than who you are today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Bye-bye. Hey, hi, everybody. Um, yesterday we talked about positive symptoms of schizophrenia. Basically the hallucinations, the voices, the paranoia. Those things that are added to the personality. However, today we're going to talk about negative symptoms or deficit symptoms as sometimes they call. As you may know, positive symptoms are controlled with medication quite actually nicely if somebody is really compliant and, and has the right medication and the right dosage and everything like that. They get you back to, to reality. With negative symptoms, which are also called deficit symptoms, what happens is that we have the following effect with negative symptoms. We have lack of motivation, lack of drive, lack of energy, a lack of joy, an emotional bluntness. Um, these things are lacking from our personality, so therefore they're called negative or deficit symptoms. Now it's very important to understand that really there's no medication that can help with negative symptoms. Um, with negative symptoms, because of the nature of negative symptoms, people may think, oh, that person is lazy, or that person is sleepy, or that person has no ambition or no drive. And these are literal, literal um, qualities or symptoms of negative symptoms. They're, they really exist, and that's why, you know, a lot of times people get a bad rap saying, oh, you're just lazy, or you need a kick in the butt, or something like that. But these are real, real problems with negative symptoms. And there's really no treatment for them. And a lot of times, a lot of times, people will say that my negative symptoms affect my life in a negative way more than my positive symptoms. Um, you know, because negative symptoms is that get up and go. Now, I want to explain to you, with the positive symptoms that can be controlled with, with uh, medication, you got to understand that there was a theory before is that we know that these antipsychotic medications, these medications are very, very strong. They're very, very powerful molecules. And basically they're, they're, they're strong because they have to override the psychosis, the chemical imbalance that we have. However, what in the past what's been done so much is that people's been so much over medicated, they've been over medicated that people act like zombies. You may see old movies or you may see people, you know, 20 years, 30 years ago who were, who were um, treated with, psych with uh, antipsychotic medication who are just very drowsy, sleepy, um, really, really slow motion, zombie-like. That's because they would give a lot of the medication and they'd really try to sedate somebody um, and then wean off and get a good dosage. Today what we're trying to do is that with the medication given is that they're given the medication at lower dosages and trying to creep up with those dosages just enough to get rid of those positive symptoms. But again, back, back with the negative symptoms, there's no there's no really treatment for negative symptoms. And part of negative symptoms as well could be the cognitive, our, our cognitive memories or our, our, our thinking or our, how we act mentally in, in, daily, in a daily basis. However, so really the only way to overcome negative symptoms and it's very difficult is almost to say 
just do it. You know what? I, I'm going to make up my mind. i got to do something. I'm going to force myself to do something. But it's very, very difficult to do that. But we got to force ourselves. We think about our hygiene. When we're dealing with, with uh, schizophrenia and uh, bipolar, some of these psychotic uh, illnesses, what happens is that our hygiene goes and, and our, our, we don't dress properly and we don't shower enough, we don't bathe, we don't put on deodorant. It's because it's such a force to, to get that motivation to get up and move and to do that. And what really happens is a lot of times it's very difficult to, to, to separate what the illness is doing with negative symptoms and what the medication is doing with my medic with my with my negative symptoms. So the, the illness itself brings out those brings out those negative symptoms or those deficit symptoms itself. But medication or being over medicated can bring out those no, those um, negative symptoms, those deficit symptoms as well. So it's very very it's a fine line of knowing what. The medication is doing and what actually my illness is doing to me so hopefully that cleared up in these last couple days uh, the difference between positive symptoms and negative symptoms and really you know what I know this sound may sound really really uh, bad advice but the truth is is that to overcome negative symptoms you just got to do it just do it have a great day everybody bye bye Hi. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And also be able to uh, send me your questions at bill at billmcphee.ca. As well, for more information, go to billmcphee.recoveryexpert.com. Links will be in the description below. Come back for another vlog tomorrow, and remember, recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anybody else other than who you are today. And there is life after mental illness. Have a great day.